Yeah. Friends, uh, today we'll be talking about disruptive technologies. Disruptive is a, is a big word which is coming up right now worldwide. And to make things simple, let us first understand what does disruption mean. Uh, disruption essentially are things which actually change the way in which activities are happening. Uh, just to give an example, uh, if we can correlate this disruption thing with simple issues, internet is one such thing which has disrupted everything happening in various businesses over the last couple of decades. The other disruption which has happened has been on the mobile business. So mobile and internet are a couple of things which have actually disrupted a lot of activities in various business verticals uh, across the time period that we are talking. The moot question or the important point to think today is what are those disruptive things which are evolving right now, which are strangely going unnoticed and that can have significant impact on various businesses various stocks and various uh, avenues going forward. So I'll share some of the thoughts that I have today in terms of things which are evolving internationally, things which are involving domestically and also from the government side. So we'll talk about two, three disruptions which are important and one has to keep in mind. Uh, the first disruption which is happening at a global level is in the car or the automobile business. Uh, there is a company by the name of Tesla and it is owned by Elon Musk. That company is in the business of making electric cars. That's a major disruption which will happen over the next 10 years in the entire automobile business. So right now, today when we are having cars which are being run on petrol and diesel, tomorrow or over the next 10 years, we'll see car which will really not require any kind of petrol or diesel and they'll be pure simple battery operated car. This person, that is Mr. Elon Musk, this is a big disruptive person uh, as such. The way in which we talk about Apple or Steve Jobs, Elon Musk is something that one has to really learn and do a lot of research on that person and his activities. So the company Tesla is one which is making such product which is electric cars. Right now they started off with Roadstar which is their prime model and that model is at the expensive end of about $1,30,000 or so. Then they started off with the second model which they call it as the Model X and that was half the price of the earlier Roadstar model. So that's roughly about $75,000 or so. Then the third that they launched is the Model S which is again at about $35,000 and then the new one which is going to come in is going to be Model 3 and that is going to be at the cheap end and that is something which will be affordable to various people and that is going to be launched by 2017. So Model S, which is the high-end car at about $30,000, $35,000 and then the Model 3, which is going to be launched eventually. So all these companies' products that are completely driven by battery operated, there is no need for any fuel, are a major disruption going forward in the next 10 years. So the simple thing to understand is that internet or mobile businesses evolved and they changed a lot of things. Going forward, electric car from Tesla is going to disrupt entire automobile industry worldwide. And right now in that car which is being made by Tesla, there is nothing like an engine. There is nothing like forging parts. There is nothing like crankshaft. It is just a lithium ion battery and simple connectivity to the wheels at which the car functions. So just by simple charging, the way in which we charge our mobile phone, this car can be charged for one hour and can actually run for a distance of about 350 kilometers or so. So it's a phenomenal thing. It's just about the affordability, the pricing at which they will start and it's going to be as early as 2017 and the world will see a new emergence of disruptive technology going forward. So that's one of the big things to keep in your mind that whenever you're going and buying any auto ancillary company or any automobile stock, over the next 10 years, one has to think about whether the future of that company will really exist. So the darlings of the markets today perhaps could no longer exist over the next 10 years because of this disruption which is happening at an international level. The second disruption which I am going to talk about is at our national level that is domestically and that is in the form of uh, mobile service providing from Reliance Industries. The entire launch of new mobile which is going to come in in the name of Reliance Geo is going to be a major disruption in the mobile business in India over the next 5 to 10 years. 
Reliance Jio has got great strategic planning in terms of marketing. They are going to provide something like uh, 200 or 250 rupees of unlimited talk time, 4G data available at phenomenal speed and that will disrupt the way in which trading businesses are happening in the country. So you could have a platform, today we are evaluating or valuing uh, in fact the e-commerce companies at phenomenal valuation. Tomorrow it could be that the possibility and the kind of profits that they generate could easily operate because of Reliance Geo. So Reliance Geo is addressing a market in India wherein there are 100 crore mobile users and they can easily migrate if a cheaper option is available. So all these cheaper options will be provided because Reliance Geo has a 4G license pan India and that is going to be a major disruption in various businesses in the next few years because of the presence of Reliance Geo. So the telecom business, the movies business, the kind of multiplexes that we are seeing easily could disrupt uh, in the near future. So that's something that one has to keep in mind while buying any of the domestic companies. The third disruption and that's one of the most important I think is happening at, at the end of the government of our country. Government has roped in about 100 crore Aadhaar cards and those are all digitalized. So eventually and now Aadhaar is also as an act in the country. So eventually subsidies which flow from the government will be targeted much better. They will go right in the hands of the people that they are targeting. And just to give an example, 1 crore rupee of subsidy is going from government. 1 crore per year to 2,50,000 villages and gram panchayat in the country. That subsidy in the past was flowing from centre, centre to state, state to district and thereafter to the gram panchayats. Now that subsidy will be directly moving from the centre government straight into the bank account of Aadhaar card holders. So earlier in the past we have seen that big amount of money which was coming from the centre a peanut of it was actually reaching to the targeted people. Now if 1 crore per gram panchayat of 2,50,000 villages that is 2,50,000 crores of government subsidy will flow exactly in the hands of the people that they are targeting. Plus this Aadhaar card they will map it for various other things like PDS, LPG distribution is currently in place, there will be fertilizer subsidy, there will be education amounts which will need to be given to the poor. All of that is going to be a major disruption from the government side. So historically we have seen government really not functioning nicely when it comes to implementation of various policies. Now because of this Aadhaar and digitalization, it's going to be a big disruption which will happen in the country. And that is something which is again getting unnoticed. So I talked about three disruptions which are happening. At the international level, you have the electric car, the non-fuel operated car. This could really put questions on various refineries as well as in the world. Likewise on the crude oil prices and various other things. Domestically, you will have Reliance Geo which will come in and disrupt lot of business activities happening in the country today. And then eventually you have from the government standpoint where Aadhaar can be eventually linked to the bank account as well. So lot of things which are still hanky-panky could be easily monitored by these authorities. These are disruptions, these are something one has to keep in mind. These are the ones one has to evaluate while even buying any stock in the market as to how the existence of those companies could easily get evaporated in near time. So these are the thoughts, these are the key points which I thought are relevant and just wanted to share with you today. Uh, thank you very much for the listening.